Hey everyone, my name is Yanis, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can generate Flux AI images automatically using Meg.com by making a simple API call to a service called Fall.ai. So let's get started. This image generator is rivaling with Midjourney, and um, it provides very detailed images. It provides images with very clear texts if your prompt contains a text message or a name or a logo it clearly reproduces it into the image so here we are on the flux uh, website and here are some examples uh, that are made with flux ai so for example you can see this one it has it has very small and detailed text, as you can see in the prompt. And the AI has generated the image exactly with this text. For example, other services like Leonardo AI or Dali E can't generate such detailed images. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to make.com to a new scenario. And we're gonna start by making an API call. An API call is like is a connection between two services. So from one service you connect to another one. But you need to speak a certain language that the other part understands. So when you send a request in a certain language, you get a response for what you ask. So in this video, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna ask for fall AI to generate an image with a flux AI model. So how do we do that? We're gonna click on plus sign and we're gonna search for HTTP module. We're gonna make a request. So here is all the details that we need to fill in. To get all the details, we need to register with Fall AI. So we're going to head to their website now. So this is the Fall AI website that we're going to use to generate the images using Flux AI image generator. So we need first, if you don't have an account with Fall AI, so you need to click sign up and you can do it with your GitHub account. Um, I do have an account, so I will click login. The same message appears here. So I'm going to click continue with GitHub. So we are on the back end now, once we logged in after registration. And uh, here are models that we can use for our image generator. I'm going to show you some examples here from the back end. What we can generate is actually mind blowing. And uh, for example, let's click this Flux One mod model. And uh, I'm going to generate a cake with my name on it. And you can see how detailed it is. So, okay, it's a um, birthday. And just click run and also the image generation is so so quick compared to other services here is the image and you can see how detailed the text is how detailed the image is so okay once i showed you this one i'm going to show you how you can automatically generate these images so we're going to click on api here and let's head back to make and as you can see, we need an URL. So where do we get the URL? The URL we're going to get to get the URL. We need to change the uh, to HTTP C URL. And here is the URL. We're going to click copy it and we're going to paste it here. So what about the method? Whenever you are trying to connect to a certain API, I really recommend you to check out the documents that comes with it because every API does have these documents. For a certain task, there is a different method 
to complete this task. For example, usually you will use get method or post method. So get method is when you want to get something from a service and post method is when you want to send some data to the service and then receive it back. We're going to use post method for this as here it clearly states that we need to use a post request and for the authorization we need add a header we're gonna click uh, click here and copy the authorization and click here add header the name is authorization and then we need an api key we need this word key as it mentions here we're gonna paste it here and click space and then we're gonna head back to fall ai i'm gonna open in the new tab our dashboard and here we have some keys these are api keys when you register for a new account you have none so you need to add a key i will do that now and this will be make.com key uh, here is the key uh, don't worry you shouldn't share this with anyone not like me but once i'm done filming this video i'm gonna delete this key so nobody else can use it so i'm gonna copy it head back to make and paste it here so this is how the authorization is done so when you are sending a request, the other part of the API call understands that you are authorized to make this call. If you don't have an API key, you are not authorized to make this call. So you need the key. So for the next steps, let's head back to our API documentation and see what we need further. So we need a content type that's going to be application JSON. Somebody is adding this in the header, but make.com offers this cool uh, drop down menu where you can select the con uh, when you after you select body type is raw, you're going to select content type is JSON application slash JSON. So you don't need to add manually into header this information as it clearly states here it sets the content type request for the header okay so now we need only the data and we need we gonna copy whatever is inside these braces so we're gonna paste it here so this is the prompt that we're gonna send to fall ai to generate our flux model images we're gonna click ok and let's test this out if this works so we are making the api call now it's very easy once you understand that you need to just copy some data and paste the data and everything should work seamlessly so as you can see we get the status code 200 which means everything is okay and we got the image here so we're gonna just check how it came out so as you can see very detailed very crisp text is on the image uh so yeah that's how you make an api call okay and now i think i'm gonna show you something interesting what you can do maybe you will have different ideas how to apply this you can also for example generate images with flux ai and share them to pinterest automatically uh, to gain some traffic to your website you can generate these images for your blog posts because they are really really detailed and really high quality images that you can integrate into your whatever piece of content you are creating but i'm gonna show you something fun that you can do so let's start we're gonna add a google sheets module that's gonna watch new rows 
where is it where is it where is it here so it's gonna watch new rows it's gonna be the start of our workflow here i have a spreadsheet with the five names rob jack lisa sarah james and i put my own email address here so i will send the images generated by the flux ai to my email address yeah, but you can have your friends email and send the images to them so we're gonna head back to make.com we're gonna connect these two modules and we're gonna select our spreadsheet we need to select the correct account and click on here and select our flux ai spreadsheet this table contains headers yes sheet name is one and limit will be one okay and we're gonna go for all graffiti in New York City. Okay, and then we're gonna add uh, get a HTTP module and get a file module, and the URL will be images URL. So basically, we need this module that we can then use the image later in our workflow. And then I'm going to add a Gmail module that's going to send an email. Where is my... Okay. And the recipient, recipient email address will be from our spreadsheet subject will be what you done I, and the content will be i saw your name written on the wall and in the attachments we're gonna attach the image from this module and we're gonna click okay so okay now we align this and let's test it out actually Okay, so I have received the image and here is the name Rob. As you can see here, let's try for Jack as well. Run once. And it's very, the images are generated very, very quickly. So it's like a couple of seconds and we head back to our uh, email Jack what have you done you have written your name uh, let's try another one so so let's check another one and Lisa here is a graffiti of Lisa so yeah as you can see this is very very detailed images so regarding the API calls I hope you get the basics how to do it once you get the URL that you need to target, you need to watch the documents for the information that you need to provide for the call to be working. So I hope this helps you so you can generate more awesome images and implement them in your creative workflows. I hope you learned how to make a basic API call from this video. And I also hope that you learn how to automatically generate images with Flux AI mod models using Fall AI website or service. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I will get back to you. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.